Remy, come. Remy, sit. Speak. Good boy. Mate, please help me. I can't walk through the game without people coming up to me just barking. I can't do it anymore. Please, just what should I do? Give me some advice. <laughs> Listen here, Varia. I can't hack it anymore. What should I do? Please, just give me some advice. I can't get any advice anywhere. <laughs> Rance, mate, you're my last hope. Remember when I brought you those big, juicy chump? <laughs> I don't know who else to ask. I mean, I've asked Rance. I've asked Varia. Who is this at the door at this time? Oh, you've got to be taking the absolute <laughs> Hello, everybody, and welcome to Oscar Rinskip Challenges, episode number 104. I'm here with Vitev, so how are we doing? How are we doing? I'm great, thank you, David. How are you? Thanks for asking. I'm not doing too bad, Jen. I'm a very good man. If you've been a long-term fan, episode number two, you recall we did a flipping video. It went down a treat. I enjoyed it. Jen enjoyed it. We didn't really know what we were doing. We've evolved, okay? <laughs> we've had a lot of comments saying, we want a flipping video. I want to do a flipping video. Jen wants to do a flipping video. So we're going to do a flipping video. Except oh. this time, we've upped the stakes, okay? We've got the rules on screen right now. We've got a 90-minute time limit. We also have 250 mil starting cash. 50 times what we had in the original video, okay? Profit we make over 250 mil will go into a gear setup. Last time round, we just traded it over. No fight, none of that. Boom. This time, the stakes are raised, Jen. We're fighting. Space. We are in control. The money we make will determine the gear. So the more money we make, the more chance we've got of winning. So the flips have got to be done. Got to be like that. Got to be, bum, got to bum, be good. Bum, got to be good. Bum. We'll have a death match. The loser will give away all their profit above 250 mil. So if, say, Jen makes 2 mil, I get the 2 mil. And the loser will also receive a forfeit. Now, please note, the invent will be standard. We'll just get that out the bank. It's only the gear and the spec weapon that will count from the cash stack. Timer will be on screen. We'll start that going. Boys and girls, if we can hit 2,000 likes on this video, it'll be much appreciated. We hate asking for likes, but it helps a lot. Jen, any words? Lad, do you know what I mean? We're not flippers. We're not dolphins, so... We're not dolphins. It could, it could go either way, but either way, you know what I mean? It'll be a fun video. Let's go, boys. <laughs> right. Timer is going now. I know an ancestral set. Never touched gear in my life. I know it's about 225 mil. You know, I've done my research. You know, while I was leaving the Ancestral setting, I was going to buy some Arch Rings and then not even buying for 200k over. So that is risky. That is very risky, but we are going to give it a go. We're going to try a couple of AGSs. I think that's the goal to plan here. Hmm, we just got an AGS buy in the GE. Now, if memory serves, I could probably sell it for 100k profit. If we wait. Now, I'm not going to waste my time trying to flip small items. I'm literally just going for the big boys. And I'm just going to try and make as much money as I can on them. Alright, lads. I've got a list of items here. Um, I've, I've wrote them down on my notepad because, you know, I want another level to these other guys. I've got some bulk items. Um, first one I'm going to check is the super combat potions. Hopefully, we can get good margin on those. They're pricey, aren't they? Right, so we buy them for 15 199 and they sell for. Hmm. Is it is it is it a good enough margin, boys? Do you know what I mean? Right, we put an offer in for a thousand. If we sell those, we make a, a, a quick sixty k, boys. It's only fifteen mil, so we're gonna do that to start off with. Second of all, we move on to the big ticket items. First one I'm thinking about is right. There's about there's about sixty k margin almost on the torches, so I'm gonna buy some of these, boys. They're buying just above med price, so we're gonna get an offering for a few of these. Some of the torches are buying, super combats are slowly buying. The Eternals, there's about 50k margin on those, so I've put an offering for 10 of those. Whether they sell or not is a different story. Uh, we may as well get chucking some of these in, might we, boys? Get the profit rolling in, you know what I mean? Boys, these torches are a steal. The torches are a steal. I'm making, like, how much is that? Almost 50k a piece, and I've already sold three of them. Oh, come on. Get this money rolling in, boys. Ooh, the Arcane's just bought. We could be talking. We could be talking a cheeky 170k just there if that sells. It's literally just a waiting game now. I'm just stood here waiting with 10 minutes in. I thought these would have sold by now. 
But if I if this works, I could probably make close to a mil if that buys and sells. That that's a risky item. Yeah, that's just insta bot, so I'm a bit worried. That has just insta bot. Oh the AGS sold 35 35k. Yes, you did that correct. 35k profit from the AGS. Right, we're gonna have to we're gonna have to get rid of this. Because it's literally over half my cash stack and it is not selling. I, I'll take a loss on it. I don't even care. Okay, that sold. I lost 36k on that, but I've made it back right there. So we're still good. This is an issue. I shouldn't have bought this. Third age is risky. It's very risky. So I'm literally going to have to dump it. All right, I've gone and put in some offers for some anguishes. Uh, there's about a 30k margin-ish on those. See, the, the Zenite jewelry seems to be doing well for me. I bought another three torches. And hopefully we can sell these for a similar price. If we can, that would be unbelievable. I'm trying to find some good margins with like bulk items, but even the black chins is like 5GP. Same with the red chins, 5GP. It's not really worth putting that much money into. There's about a 40GP difference in runeite bars. I've gone and bought a cave them just to test the waters. Uh, these are selling, which is nice. Uh, Anguish is a buy-in, so that's all right. We can get those chucked in as well. The super combats are selling, boys, for a decent profit, so I'm taking that. That's nice, that's nice. Rune bars are buy-in. We're all looking good. These eternal boots, I don't think I'm going to buy, so I'm going to withdraw those off. Right, I moved on to some BCPs. There's about 40k margin in these again, uh, so I'm going to buy... I might buy a couple more, you know, actually. I'm going to put an offer in for a couple more. Though. Also, the super combats are doing work. You know, they're going down the pan pretty easily. Runite bars have pretty much stopped buying, so I might withdraw those in a second. Boys, do you know what I mean? What do you want? What we're going to... We're going to turn up with the fighting bandos at this rate, boys. They're selling that good. Blowpipe seem to be buying very nicely, and I think I can get... If my calculations are correct, they should sell. Give them time, they should sell. Right, all of the blowpipes I've just bought. Uh, I think I've actually got a massive steal on these. Oh, they're already selling. That's that's 79k profit right there. My only issue is I'm trying to dump this. This was a silly, silly buy and I cannot get rid of it. I'm just going to dump it. Please sell. Please sell. Thank you. I I've lost... I lost 390k on that, but I'm about to make it all back there, so it doesn't matter. We are laughing with the blowpipes. 79k. Look, the buy-in, and they're, sell they're selling quicker than the buy-in. Uh, I don't know what to say. The BCPs have well and truly sold. They're gone. I've still got one, which I'm buying as well. All my super combats are bought, which is a good sign. The room bars are getting a bit edgy out, so I'm gonna I'm gonna opt out of them for a minute. So yeah, BCP's making me a decent amount of money. I've gone and put an offer in for some Vero Skeptors. They're only about a 10k margin, but they should sell pretty quickly. And also, all my, um, what's it called? The anguishes went for about 30k profit. I'll see if I can pull those up quickly. It, see, it's fun when you do this, but it, it, it's it's so stressful. See, I made about 22k on each of those, so that's not too bad. The, oh, the torches were like the absolute money. I was making about... 40 or k each on those so i might try those again tacits have sold so they're gone the rune bars don't like the shifting which is making me edgy i'm just putting off room for some serpentine helmets which have about a 30k margin so hopefully those some of those will end up buying anyway there we go speak of the devil we're almost a third of the way in and i don't think i've made a single coin yet all the blowpipes have finished a selling uh, they stopped buying though, so I think I've hit my limit, but I will try buy some more because they were making me a moolah. Ooh, one of the D claws is just bought. If I could make 200k there, that'll be a perfect. B rings also buying, but they're not selling. That's the issue, they're not selling. No, the thing with flipping is patience. You've got to be patient to make a big profit, but when you're under a time limit, it is literally. You can't. You have to be quick. That's the only problem that I'm facing. So I'm I'm making losses when I don't need to, really. Right, the B-ring sold for a tidy 30k profit. So I made 60k there, which isn't too bad. I've got my eyes on the Dragon Warhammer. It's about 71 mil. So if I can snipe one for 70 mil, boom. Oh, 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 oh. Hello. Hello. We've, ju we've just got a Dragon Warhammer, and I'm pretty sure, wait, I think I can sell it for 70.7. I swear my claws just bought as well. My claws did buy. So I just found there's like a 40k margin in BGSs, so I've moved on to those. Also AGSs as well, there's about 15k, so I thought I'd put a few offers in. Um, 
Nothing seems to be selling at the minute, which is getting me a little bit edgy. I I'm curious to see how much money I've made so far because we're all about a third of the way in already. So it'll be interesting to see. Lads, there's like almost 100k margin on the budging. So I'm just going to try and rinse a couple of these. I need some other stuff to sell so I can buy more though. That's the annoying thing. Boys, right, look at this madness. So I was buying the BGSs, 11908, 11946, almost 40k per BGS. The Abyss or Bludgeons are doing bits for me. 862k, 938k. What's that? Like 60 odd K. So I'm going to try and rinse a couple of them. Also, I'm making about 100 GP each on the super restores. So if I sell a K, do you know what I mean? It's it's big it's big business at the minute, boys. If I can sell these, you know what? I'm just going to whack them in for 63 mil. Because that'll be a 200 K profit if they sell. If that sells, that'll be 350 K profit. These are selling nicely for a tidy 33, 30 K profit. We might be onto some here. The, we need these to sell. Oh my god, the Warham sold 350k profit. Actually sold 350k profit. Can we get another? Look at this. Literally just made 350k like that. That's in, that's insane. And these are, boys, we're gonna win. We're onto something. We need the claws to sell. I, I'm just gonna whack him in for 62. Nah, 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 nah. Oh my god, the Warham bought. The Warhammer just bought. I need these closer cells so I can buy more. Am I on summit here? Am I actually on summit? I've got to be quick because the price is fluctuating so much. If this sells, I've made 700k in literally three minutes. Right, the AGSs have sold. We bought them for 100, 380k, and we sold them for 100, 474. So we pretty much made 100k on those, which is proper decent if you ask me. Right, boys, I just got to purchase some abyssal daggers. I just looked, and there's literally about 60k margin on these. So whether these actually sell or not, I don't know. If I hopefully have not been done over there, because if I have, it's not ideal situation. Abyssal bludgeon sold as well, so that'll reap us some profit. History, um, we sold three tacits, 28.55. Made about 40k each on those. The bludgeon we bought for 867, and we sold that for 929. So we made a nice little bit of profit off that as well. One of the claws just sold for 90k profit. The B rings are flying off the shelves. But they are claws sold, 90k, 180k profit on the claws. The restores as well, they keep going up, so I'm making more and more, so I can't really complain at all. I'm probably going to collect everything now, uh, cancel all the pots, and then resell these. Honestly, who's competing with these flips? All the B rings have sold, but they've stopped buying we were on a roll everything was buying and selling like that like clockwork and now we nothing's really happening Um it's literally a waiting game and i'm 42 minutes in i'm i'm pretty much halfway now speaking of the devil as we see that the D warhammer sells this seems to be the money right now so i am just going to try buy another all of these are getting bought oh we got D-Warhammer. i'm confident i can get 70.7 for this Oh, see, this is paying off. 325k's we're getting for this. Like, surely this is like a, another 200k. What's Jen doing? What is Jen? Is Jen flipping Dragon War Hammers? Look at that. Seven, 80k profit on the armadillo crossbows. Can we also take into account this? 7950 each I've bought those for. 7950, right? Wait, now I'm confused. Hold on. Seven nine fifty. Fuck. I found there's a hundred k margin on armadillo chain skirts, so I've gone for those again. Can't. I think I lost money on the abyssal daggers because I put the price in wrong, which isn't ideal. I just went to check the price of tacits and look how much I got mugged off by. One hundred ninety k. I just bought one for this price, so I'm going to try and sell it again for that price, so that'll cover my money. Hopefully more buy, though, if it actually works. I don't know whether I've just been scammed, though. Armadillo chain skirt, boom, 100k profit on those. The common way to flip is you buy it for, like, plus 10, you sell it for minus 10, and then you work it out from there. But to do that on items of this value, it, you can't really do it, because you, you're constantly chasing losses. So you have to guess, pretty much. That's the way I'm doing it. I'm sure there's a better way of doing it, but that's how I'm doing it. Just got another d -war armor. Oh my god, just got another two d -war armors. Why have they both just sold so quickly? Why have they all just sold so quickly? That worries me. 
Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, what? I've just, I've just made 630k. I've, I've just flipped 630k, what? I, I won't be able to buy any more dewarmer soon. Uh, I don't know what's just happened. Right, luckily we made the money back from our tacits because they just sold now. Look at the margin on Samfu's. Samfu? Samfu? Sanfu! Samfu! Samfu! Get the serums in here now! Hey! Get him in here! Bear, but without the meme, right? 600 GP per Sanfu, which is ridiculous. Uh, there's also about 40k margin on Eternal Boots. Got about 20 odd minutes left. Uh, got some AGS offers in there. Don't know whether they're going to buy or not. Uh, I found that there's a pretty decent margin between Armadillo chest plates. These peapots aren't going. I might have to take a loss on them soon. I'm not really making much selling them at that anyway. Uh, and my last pair of pegs aren't buying. So things have got a little bit stale at the minute. Still making a little bit of money off these eternal boots. Hopefully, if we could do this flip here, we could make a nice chunk of money. But I doubt it's even going to pay off at this rate. Yeah, I'm pretty sure dewarms have come to an end. Nothing else is buying. Uh, I'm a bit stuck now because I don't know what other items to do. I'm telling you now, I'm determined to flip some ancestral. I want to flip some ancestral and I just can't. I feel like the tops has got a massive margin and I just can't seem to work out how much to buy it for. Just interrupting your video because I thought I needed to put this in. After we finished the episode, we wrapped it up, I decided to do a bit more flipping and the ancestral rope tops, just look. Woo, the claws butt. Oh, we may have just sniped a ranger tunic. We've got 15 minutes left. The D claws just sold and a ranger tunic just bought. The claws are making me about 100k. Yeah, all the ranger tunics seem to be buying. But they don't seem to be selling. That's the only issue. Three of them have just insta sold for 300k profit. Hello. Bought these and we're making about 95k each on the primordials. Uh, another one's just sold recently. Uh, I got about another two pairs, I think, to go. Uh, and quickly going to do some Fioris because there's about 30k margin in here and I can make a bit more extra cash before we finish. Right, lads, everything's sold other than the Fioris, so I'm just going to pretty much dump these for how much I got them for. Um, Hopefully we've made a bit of profit. I don't really want to look now exactly what we've sold. Uh, it's not ideal. Could have gone a lot better than it did. But, chins up boys. We'll go ahead and get ourselves a gear set up. And uh, hopefully we can beat Dave and end this losing streak. Bando's Tacit just bought. Right, we've got eight minutes left. Uh, I'm just trying to sell these two items and one more of these. But nothing else is buying. If I can get one more flip in that time, everything's Gucci. Right, the Ranger Tunic just sold for 75k profit. I'm flipping for 40k. So if I can buy a load of these dead quick, I can make a quick like 100k. <sighs> right, we've only got 40 seconds left, so I'll cancel the buy offers. I've got another pair of tacits there. I will whack them in, wait for them to sell, and then we will go and meet up with Jensen. <laughs> Alright, ladies and gentlemen, we are back with the results. Of the 90 minutes of flipping, Jen, how'd you find it? I don't even know if it's a good amount or not. So actually, I'm not. Sure. I'm not really that happy. But yeah, we'll. Flip I, and I'm see, happy. Don't we? Um, what was your best flip? Tell me your best flip. Maybe tacits. I was getting 40k each on them. It was a point where I got 200k on them, Dave. Wow. Okay. Also, wow. But I also lost 200k find the price. So remember that. And then also, I, I didn't do it that way. I did it. I was just putting amounts in and hoping it bought. So I, I did a lot of waiting, but. Looking at this amount, I think it's paid off. Bludgeon as well. I was making good 80k off bludgeons at one point. I that. I tried it. Well, the issue is, boys and girls watching at home, when it comes to 250 mil start and you're doing it with big items, big items take a long time to buy for good yeah. margins. So it's difficult, but bear in mind, this isn't who's won. This is just the gear that we're going to buy, okay? Right, you ready? 3, 2, 1 then, sure. Go ahead, go ahead and count us down, Jen. Good 3, that. 2, one go oh my god <laughs> what how have you made so much money jen jen i made 750k on 3d war armors 
I was getting 350k per armor, and it was just buying like that, buying like clockwork, Jen. Uh, I made over double what you made. I'm, listen, I'm quite happy with I could have easily, I could have easily had three mil, but I, I messed up a couple of times. Jen, just buy your gear setup. I'm sorry, but I've just typed this in and I'm doing it. I don't even care. I'm doing it. I don't think we've ever bought a Verex set. Like I'm. Just, oh, the Legends Cape from my man Urkel. Don't know how much it costs, but there we go. The Barrows uh, gloves. We got 70k. We got a do mace. I might just buy a DDS as well. Dragon Mace G Mall. I'm going for it. I'll lose a food, but it's worth it. Right lads, this is essentially the setup I've gone for. I think range is the best approach considering my price range. I've literally just gone for like pretty much like a like a range tank kind of setup. Uh Torax, we've got the Dragonstone Bolts E, Dave's not gonna have the uh the, the anti fire potion, stuff like that, so that's sound. Got a DDS for the weapon switch, and then we'll just have a normal invent on the go as well. Hey right, boys and girls, we're here with the setup. I did not expect range. I didn't expect it. Well, Dave, you're in for a treat then, aren't you? Well, you are in for a treat, yeah. It's what I've got to do with this kind of, this kind of setup, do you know well, what I mean? We've both got the same invent. Jen's got a super defense pot. We're all good to go. Uh, grab a skull, Jen. I'll meet you in there. No, it's clean void. You ready? I'm beating you here. Yep. You ready? When you're what ready, David? can the Verax hit is the question. What can this hit it? is the question. Hello. We're taking this... Oh, my God. How are you hitting so high? Jen... Verax, mate. It's quality. Right, it's quality what is going control on? at Domino. Oh, Verax, just pummel him. It's hitting a lot more than I thought it would hit. I won't lie to you. Dave, I'm getting shredded on food here, big time. Look at it. 30 every hit. <laughs> that would have been so nice. Oh, my God. Jenny, the idea is to hit me. I can't hit. Oh Ver my Verax god. Verax was a tactical decision. I'm swear I can hit 40s. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> what is going on? Finish him! Finish him! <laughs> Finish, him. <laughs> Finish him! Finish him! Going. <laughs> Where are you going, Jen? Jen, in your own time. If you just hit me, that's fine. Just, just, just hit me. Oh my god, just kill me! You kill me. I can't be fucking arse with a pile. How did he kill me? He hit me three days in a row! <laughs> I actually think it was a 36 39. I'm quitting this game. How does that even work? How how does that physically work when you hit like eight thirties on a row me in full Verac? Full Verac with a leg you're wearing a legends cape. What were you wearing? An Avers? Yeah, I was. Yeah, well, I'm Look not gonna go get a fire cape, am I? Oh shut up, shut up. Right, Jen, uh we're back. Um you run like a twelve loss streak, how'd you feel? Dave, I know the routine, just let's get into the bloody four bit. <laughs> I know the routine is. Right, Jen, one to four, A to C, pick a number, pick a letter. I just want the first one, one A. Yeah, blank. Of course it is. Uh two A. <laughs> blank. Three A. It's a hit. You want it? Go on. Uh Darox PK. Oh uh, there's another four mil ladies there's another and gentlemen. Four, there's mil another gone. four mil gone. <laughs> I've lost so much money, oh my god, it's unbelievable. <laughs> I believe in you. Didn't you win your last one? See, that's so. a solid start. Being a right little moody today, you are. Do me, I didn't ask why. Stop dancing! <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's cocky. You know when you just already know the result, but you just wait. Shut for up, it. Dave. <laughs> go on, Axim, go! No, wait. Where the wrist? Oh, he's so cocky, Jenny. Where's the AGS, Jen? Shut up. Where is it? I want to see it. No, he's sat off elf, lad. He's asking to die.
go on AGS. There's delay now, isn't it? You know you can use your axe. You're putted, aren't you? Yes. You're gonna use your AGS. Shut up. I'm only seeing skim it out, I thought. Oh fuck off! <laughs> Jim just hit him. Just AGS him now, you'll kill him. You won't expect it. BOOM! Oh, I'm the king! Oh, no one's gonna be here with me! <laughs> you just don't deserve you don't deserve it! I'm unbelievable this game! Who's competing with the Gem Meister? No one's competing with the Gem Meister! <laughs> Boom! How much money are we making today, boys? Dave, screw your tune off, mail mate. I'm picking up both DH. Hello. <laughs> Look at him, he's got Gothic's rest. What's gonna do? Sip that. Ooh, nice cup of tea. <laughs> yeah, see you later, mate. Watch that on the replay, boys. You ain't competing. But Dave, I told you, I had the theory, I knew what I was doing, and there we go, I walk out the wilderness <laughs> with an extra four mil. Who's competing? No one's competing. Thank you, and good night. You just don't deserve it, you just don't. Pause the recorder, fucking hell, I'm shaking. <laughs> Man, you, don't, you don't even know, you don't even know why you venged. You don't even know why you did it, and it killed him. Oh my god, I'm so happy. <sighs> right, boys and girls, thank you very much for watching this week's episode of Auto Currency Challenges. Two videos in a week, like we have said. We're aiming for two videos every single week up until RuneFest, aren't we, Jensen? We are. We are indeed. Thank you very much for watching. We'll see you in episode 105. Over and See you in a bit, boys. See, see you in a later. bit.